Yesterday, me and my family were at the One Music Festival. Somebody who works with Candy Birds walked up to us and said they've been trying to reach us since we got to Atlanta. He said he'd been constantly emailing me and constantly DMing me for me to come to Old Lady Gang. I got it. Let's try it and rate it 1 through 10. As you can see, I don't have any bags in my hands. Me and my family showed up and we attempted to order before we got here. We called the number they had connected on Yelp three times, no answer. We tried to order through DoorDash and it said it was temporarily closed. So when we pulled up, I sent my family in to order for us. They said on the weekends, due to being busy, they don't do any takeout at all. They do to go order? No, we don't do to order on the weekend. Oh, okay, so sit in dining. Yes. Okay, thank you, sweetie. We appreciate you. Which is completely understandable. So what we decided to do is my family's gonna go eat. They're just gonna come bring the food out while I'm sitting in the car so they have no idea I'm here. My family asked how long the wait was to be seated. They said an hour to an hour and a half. Yeah, hour and a half. Okay. She also said they didn't have any reservations available. So they didn't take out any number, any contact information, nothing. My family then came and relayed that message to me and I decided to go in myself. We walked in and we were greeted by a nice young lady. And then I met some amazing people who were eating there and we took some pictures. God is amazing. As soon as me and my wife were done taking pictures, the lady said the table was ready. As always, I don't want any special treatment. I want to be treated like everybody else. I pay for my food like everybody else. I'm a normal person. I'm a normal customer. Things like this is exactly why I do reviews the way I do. Just because I have a certain amount of followers on social media don't make me different from nobody. My mom, my mom-in-law, my sister, they all paying customers just like me. So I want them to be treated just like me. So I asked how long the wait time has been today. She said an hour to an hour and a half. So which I then asked, how were you able to sit me in five minutes? This is her response. How long are you looking for as far as wait time? I'm just going to sit up right now. Oh, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to wait. This is how calls came. Again, my family just attempted to eat there less than two minutes ago. I then told her I changed my mind. We're going to go eat somewhere else. And I said, God bless you. And I walked out. On second thought, it's okay. We're we going to go eat somewhere else. Though. I appreciate it, though. For sure. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. Have a good one. Have a great day. I'm gonna be very transparent and honest. I am frustrated. Me and my family just trying to eat food. That's all we try to do. At the same time, I am frustrated. I understand we are all humans. I do not agree. I do not support. I do not condone shaming this business based on my experience. Like every city we've been to since we've been on food tour, I go to a array of restaurants from mom and pop shops to staples of the community to super popular to places nobody know about. And Atlanta has definitely been a unique experience for me and something I'll never forget. Thank you for inviting me. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart genuinely, but I'm a normal person and I want to be treated like everybody else. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. And I'm not playing. I understand everybody got their own opinions on situations, but don't go leaving them zero star reviews. You ain't never been here before. If you like to come experience it yourself and then leave your reviews, but just leaving a review based on my experience is crazy in my opinion. God bless you. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Candy and I'm about to speak on it. No, I'm joking. I'm not about to speak on it. I really just wanted to say I do appreciate Keith Lee for stopping by our restaurant and trying to show us love. It is very unfortunate that we couldn't serve him and his family. We have we would have loved to, okay? But he's right. We don't take to-go orders on the weekends and the simple reason is because we do love and appreciate the people who come and support our restaurant. On the weekends, we get a lot of community support, people in our city that show up for us, as well as a lot of people from out of town. So with that being said, we don't want to overwhelm our kitchen by having to, you know, have such long times for the people who are actually at the restaurant, plus having to do to go orders, because obviously that would make the long the wait times even longer. So that's the reason for that. Um, for those of you, I saw a couple of people was like, why wouldn't they take to go orders? Well, that's why. Anyway, with that outside of that, I want to say thanks to Keith for trying to even show up to our restaurant and show us love thanks for trying to bring your family by and maybe next time we'll still get a chance to serve you okay keith lee warns all restaurants he's gonna stop doing his tour no more keith lee visiting restaurants y'all all because of atlanta what y'all think you want me to do you want me to lie i can't do that i'll walk away from everything before i lie i'm telling you that right now on 10 toes everything god bless you. okay let's talk about it every restaurant that me and my family go to we we're either a invited by the restaurant themselves or b was told about the restaurant 100 plus times from locals from people who mention me from people who email me dm me 99 percent of the time i never go to a random restaurant with that being said my opinion was asked for so many narratives being pushed and it's insane to me but let's be honest what else do you want from me if i go to a bunch of restaurants and I have a string of good experiences then i'm being too nice I'm lying, the narrative is being pushed that my eye roll is fake and I'm lying just to help people. Then on the same hand, if I go to two or three restaurants where I don't have the best experience, now I'm tearing down businesses, now I'm being mean, now I need to shut up, now I need to mind my business, now I need to sit down. Again, I can't win from losing. I understand everybody gonna have an opinion on the situation. You can disagree with me, you cannot like what I say. 
completely understand. I'm okay with that. But when my safety and my family's safety start coming into play, that's where I draw the line at. But what can't happen is when my family or the restaurants or anybody's safety start coming into play. It's absolutely overboard. Especially when I was asked to give my opinion. Because you're telling me my opinion only matters if it's positive. Because if it's positive, you got my face plastered on a wall and you saying keep leaving here. But if it's negative, I need to sit down somewhere and you don't know who I am. That's crazy to me. There was so much positive that happened in Atlanta that was shunned by the negative. It was so many restaurants we was blessed enough to help. We went to an array of restaurants like we always do at every city. I'm gonna be 100% transparent, 100% candid. Me and my family will postpone touring if other cities gonna be like this. Overall, I would rate her response a six and a half out of 10. I'm not fully convinced that customer service is something that is a priority to be fixed. But for kicks and giggles, I'll provide my feedback from a publicist perspective. Candy responded as Candy the brand. That is separate from Old Lady Gang the restaurant. Old Lady Gang can still respond as a brand. That is why it's important to establish a brand voice that is separate from your personal brand. The biggest takeaway from all of this is people just want accountability. There's an opportunity to identify a new standard and to put that standard in place. If I see an issue and I'm looking for a solution and also a business opportunity, that is where I think you, you find that mix. One thing I will say, there is a huge difference between being a business owner like Candy and a business owner like a majority of these other establishments that Keith went to. Not everyone is able to just breeze over having someone who has 15 million followers come into their establishment. But if you are interested in growing your business and working in a destination that both services tourists and locals, customer service has to be a priority. No matter how you feel about Keith Lee, there's no denying that the man has 15 million followers. Because yes, while he may not be from Atlanta, and while he may have been surprised by a brunch wait on a Sunday, he still has a huge platform. And if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Have a good day. Bye.